Welcome to Buchake English for Teens. I'm Harvest Stein. And I'm Robbie O. Let's get started by watching today's skit. You're way too good, Jason. That was just a fluke. Do you think they want to play too? Hey, over here! Do you guys all know each other? We have English together. Kara and Anna, right? Samir is right. Jason is way too good at basketball. Humble, too. I'm sure that wasn't a fluke. Right? And he even remembered Kara and Anna's names. What a great guy. Yeah, it seems the characters all have English class with each other. Which brings us on to today's point. In the skit, Samir asked, Do you guys all know each other? Referring to Kara, Anna, and Jason. Each other is used to talk about when two or more people reciprocate an action or share the same relationship. Exactly. Some examples when talking about actions are look at each other, care for each other, and call each other. Notice that each other always comes after the verb and not before it. When talking about relationships between people, you can say things like love each other, like each other, or hate each other. Let's take a look at some different scenarios where we can use each other. If you're talking about two friends that have been spending a lot of time together recently, you could say, maybe they like each other. Or, if you and your sibling are prone to squabbling, you could say, we always tease each other. And if you know that two people just don't get along, you can say, they hate each other. So, Harva, how was your relationship with your brothers growing up? Yeah, the usual. We'd fight and tease each other relentlessly. Oh, well, deep down, I'm sure you all loved each other. Of course. In fact, we call each other every week. Only because your mom makes you, right? Maybe. Well, that brings us on to today's grammar. Today's grammar point is about using right at the end of a sentence. In the skit, you may have heard Jason say, Kara and Anna, right? This right at the end of the sentence was to confirm with the girls if he was right about their names. In English, we can use this right to make a statement into a question when we're not 100% sure about what we're stating and need the listener's confirmation. For example, your birthday is November 18th, right? Or the capital of Germany is Berlin, right? Right. It's an easy way to ask for confirmation. Just make a statement and add right at the end. Also, don't forget the rising intonation at the end to make it sound like a question. Now it's your turn. We'll make some statements and you can turn them into questions using right. Ready? Perfect. There's a math test tomorrow, right? How about this? Excellent. You have a younger brother, right? Last one. Great! You like strawberries, right? Hava, it's your birthday next week, right? Right! And you like donuts, right? I do! And that new donut shop opened last week, right? It did! I think I know where this is going. Cool! 
I'm going to take my date there next week. Wish me luck. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. See you next time.